Liquid Duplication 2025. As you may have already heard, one of the most common liquid duplication methods of the previous years got fixed in the last update. So I present to you Liquid Duplication. But before we start, a few words about tolerance. I've noticed a growing number of impolite comments regarding the exploits videos and if those only aim at me, it is annoying but I can live with it. But they should never be aimed at the other people of the community. Just remember, Oxygen Not Included is a single player game and everyone is allowed to play it like they enjoy it the most. Oxygen Not Included has some of the nicest communities. We don't need to be negative here. And if you don't like exploits, that is totally fine. It is still good to know about them. Is it to understand the game better or to avoid some of them? So why am I making this video? Three reasons. First, there are a few people that based their mega bases on some of the duplication methods. Why it doesn't matter here? Maybe they have more dupes than all the resources could ever support. Maybe just because it is simple. It doesn't matter, we are not here to judge. Second reason, I'm also making this video to see if someone at Clay goes, oh no, not again. And third, I find it fun to find solutions to challenges, at least in the game. And now back to breaking the game again. Here you can see a few simple versions built based on the fact that the liquid duplication still exists in the game. Instead of the previously used version here on the left, we now just simply form a whole pile of liquid and then drop it via a door. We drop it through the same arrangement as before. So we do have the 60 grams of water split into two tiles right here. So just drop 60 grams of water here on top. And any amount of liquid that will not spill over to the next tile on the lower tile. This has to be the liquid that you want to duplicate. At least in this simple setup. Thanks to this goes to Shin from the Discord server who figured this out and told me about it. After I shared a link about the duplication thread in the Oxygen Not Included forum from 2021 as a source. So I put that source into the description and into the comment section as well. And a lot of the designs that you will see around here or here are not directly based on them but if you want to duplicate anything via just dropping any liquid through another liquid it pretty much ends up looking like this anyways so a lot of the older designs from 2021 could currently still work you have already seen the time lapse in the background but now let me show you how i set it up these here are all the setups this here is the power switch to turn on all of the pumps and to activate all of the doors these doors here can only open when the pixel packs show green, currently the reset is active and the pumps are off, meaning the top doors stay closed forever, which makes it easier to extract all the liquids. The first recording didn't end up like I wanted it to because I forgot to hook one of these up so I can show you how the reset works. I'm just going to click the reset button. This will automatically reset this and zoom to it. Uh, the pumps are still active so they're pumping out the rest of the liquid but this time the doors can't open because I have the reset activated. That's because it's red here. And now I remove all the liquid down here, down here, the liquids down here and then the liquids up there as well. Just like this. These here are special cases because I don't just have to remove the top one but also have to remove the middle one like this and now I can reset everything. So let's start over. What you see now is what happened before the time lapse. First we make sure that the reset is on and the pumps are switched off. Both should color the pixel packs red. Then we fill all of the setups with 1000 kg of crude oil or 1000 kg of the respective liquid that the setups are using. In this case, petroleum, salt water and phyto oil. And up here, just 1000 kg of regular water. Then I saved the game and, and began the start. test. The timer for the test was set to 5 cycles and then automatically stop. You can see that the duplication is already working because of the liquids spilling over. I can show you the exact amounts later on. It could be that we have to do a quick change to the setup and stop after the fourth cycle otherwise this here could block off because it's just so powerful compared to the rest of the setups and then we cannot compare it correctly although I already marked the ones that won so we could try and run this a whole cycle. This will go to four soon. For a 5 cycle test I needed to expand the storage of the best 4 setups a little bit.
So, and with this, the test is officially over. We now have five full cycles worth of it. The system automatically stopped. I can switch off the pumps, but we stay in pause mode. I am pressing the reset. Then I'm having the pump shut off. And because the pump is shut off, the rest of the liquid that is inside of the pipes will accumulate on top. So let's see if this works properly. Yes, thank you. I, I pressed. Yeah, I know. So the pumps are switched off, pipes are emptying and we can stop the game as soon as all the liquid dropped down and is no longer falling so I can properly measure it. I think that is the case. So first let's check our tiny setup because I have the feeling this didn't work properly. This should be more than 1000. It is less so it deleted a little bit of crude oil in the process of whatever it did here. Probably because um, this liquid vent should be one tile higher and there should be a regular tile here. So let's go to our proper setups right here. These setups right here in the middle had a function to test whether we can duplicate different liquids, which apparently we can. You can see the petroleum, the salt water and the feed oil have all been duplicated. Now let's check the amount. We have 7.1 tons of petroleum compared to the single ton that I put in. We have 7.5 tons of salt water compared to the one ton that I put in. And we have 7.7 .7 tons of feed oil compared to the one that I put in. Why are they different? That is because I had a second test running in the same area. The hydra sensor to the top left has a value of 200 kg, the middle one of 400 kg and the right one of 800 kg. The amount that is dropped each single drop does increase the duplication rate. Though, of course, the fill rate of all three is the same. Here to the left I tested something different. I tested whether the amount of chambers had an influence of the duplication rate and whether the chambers only to one side did affect the duplication rate compared to two chambers. So first off, two chambers definitely better than one chamber. Chambers to both sides are better than just chambers to one side. The amount to the top left is 4.1 tons of crude oil and the amount to the right here is 4.1 tons. So they are identical. The only difference is how they are dropped. This tile here changes the way the liquids are dropped in each setup. And now to the two chamber setups. This one here has 7.1 tons of crude oil. This whole setup here is comparable to this setup with just one door and one chamber. All the other chambers did not add anything from the base setup to this setup here to the left, at least in a five cycle test. Let's see this again. Maybe this one here is different, 7.1 tons, and this one here, 7.1 tons. So all three of these are identical to just a single dropper. And this one here didn't work because I set it up incorrectly. This here should be gunk so that the crude oil creates some droplets to the left and right and then drops down. It would work and duplicate liquid, but I already tested it and the duplication rates are much worse than with the other setups. Now to the setups down here, starting with the left to the right. You can clearly see what my intention was. The left only has one double chamber, two double chambers, three double chambers and seven double chambers. And with the knowledge that we gained before, technically there shouldn't be any different, but that is not correct. So let me show you. This one here has 7.1 tons as expected, the same as this one here and the same as the double chambers here. But now let's check the next one here. This should be slightly higher, even though you can't see everything behind the 7.1 tons so let's go further to the right and see if we can see a different there still 7.1 and this one still 7.1 so no measurable difference here then i tested the refill speed so i used three pumps and as you can clearly see three pumps more effective than one pump now let's check if you can see the difference in here with the double chamber amount with, with the three pumps this one here is at 16.2 16.3 16.4 and 16.9. The amount of double chamber does actually have an influence, but it is so minuscule in these setups that it's probably not worth it to add double chambers and it's just better to add more of the modules. Which led us to the next setups. This one here. All of the setups are basically just the top part with the hydro sensor and the door dropping through a single double chamber, then stopping and doing the same drop again. What I tested here is we started with 200 kilogram here in the top, 200 kilogram in the middle, 200 kilogram and 200 kilogram. This here is our baseline. 
and then we do have some 50 kilogram 200 400 and 800 it changes depending on where it is inside of the column and then we do have some with just 50 all around the 200 again and 600 the difference here is these one only have one pump to fill it and these one here have three pumps to fill it i tested more pumps but three pumps and 200 seem to be a good amount to have a steady drop rate as you can see by the duplicated amount of liquids here so let's check these four here first this is the 50 to 800 with 20.6 tons this one here 20.9 tons this one here has 25.2 tons and this one here has the 23.5 tons the 200 kilogram does better than the 600 kilogram with just one pump which is why I ended up using the 200 in these in these four setups. Now let's talk about the best four versions. This one here and this one here should be identical. And this one here and this one here should be identical. They just differ in the medium that they use. So this one uses water. This one uses crude oil. And these two here obviously use crude oil. Just the chamber here is differently formed chamber. So let's focus on these two do first this year is the best setup when it comes to duplication rate and it has a duplicated amount of 64.5 tons minus the one ton that i put in the the first cycle so you gained 63.5 tons in just five cycles which equals to 21.16 kilogram per second next best version would be this version here the right of it which has 61.7 tons so 60.7 tons gained in the cycles this works with crude oil and with the water we put in one ton of water and we do have 62.9 tons so 61.9 tons gained the difference between these two is as you can clearly see this still uses the crude oil the 377 okay uh, the technically 300 gram I put in in the beginning and a 60 gram of water here on top of it. This one here uses nafta, just one kilogram per tile, which then switches to 250 and 1.75 kilogram of nafta in each tile. Uh, this is an old design with the nafta that you've seen from the source that I put in the comment section and in the description. The benefit of this, even though it is slightly less efficient, is you can make it smaller and you can use almost any liquid that you want to duplicate if it's in the right temperature range so you don't have to set up these setups here with all the different liquids like you would have to do right here and you can just put in different liquids whenever you want so i would so i would use a couple of these with switchable inputs if you actually want to use them inside of your mega base so here you have the overview again And now I can show you the version that doesn't use any energy, which is this one here. So you just have the regular dropper system. This one is set to 800 kilogram, but you can change the amounts however you like. But a larger number here is useful because you want that to be stacked up to this height. Technically, I can activate it again just to show you just like this. Deactivate reset. So as you can see, the pump does not need any power anymore. You need to power the pump for the first time until this is filled. This will take a while because this uses quite a lot of crude oil just to fill up the system. About 24.5 tons. Of course, you can make this smaller. Nobody's arguing that. But after this, all of the excess crude oil will just spill down and create for example, 15.3 tons of crude oil in 5 cycles. That's not too shabby. And here I tried to make a smaller version. But this one did not run. Yeah, this one needs more duplicated liquid to start up. So once this accumulated enough liquid until this area right here, then it will spill over and create an excess crude oil amount. So, yeah, yeah. Be aware, this here is an Asher waterfall. So now let me show you how to build one of these. These here are the most simple and efficient ones. So let me show you how to build these. We need a bit of space and a little of insulation. Then we need a drop shaft like this. A few pockets like this. Then the door, hydro sensor, door, door, hydro sensor, automation cable. Set this to above 200. Instead of just brushing in the liquids, I will do it the way that you would have to do it. For example like this, this here is for the crude oil, this here is for the water, water and one for crude oil. So let's check this, this one needs to be around 
60 gram for the water and 300 gram for the crude oil. And crude oil down. Hopefully this works as intended. Let's save this. Connect this up. Check this out. This has been 300 gram exactly. Now we can do this and reset this here by pressing this button. Hopefully this works. 300 gram exactly. And now we do the same with the other side here. So we don't need this anymore. Reset this, one and two. And we do have the 300 gram down here. So now we don't need the crude oil anymore. Of course, you can do this more compact, but let me just um, get rid of everything that we don't need currently. And now the water, water down here, water here, connect this up. The first water package is already inside, should drop it. Yep, it did. Next one can go here. Reset this, one and two, water. Then we need water here and water here. First top right, one and two. And then this one here, one and two, filled. I just forgot a minor detail. Because I placed this inside here with an atmosphere, we should have made a vacuum first. Okay, now it's a vacuum. Let's check this again. Delete this, delete that. Wait for the pumps to empty out. Rush in crude oil again, 1000. And then check this again. 